Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a, uh, a door script, which will basically work like this. So depending on which side you're looking at the door, the door will open that way. It's not too uh, complicated. So yeah, let's get into it. So right here I just have a simple sort of door frame and a door in this model. Uh, I'm gonna delete the script for now. But basically what you need to you need to make this door model and you need to uh, add a proximity prompt into the door. This part here. And uh, basically when you go near it, it will say open door. But look at the properties here. Uh, you can disable it, actually saying whether you need want to open it or not. You can set the key you want to use to open it. You can set the distance. This one's on E10. So if you just co copy these properties or you know change them however you want. And then I'm gonna basically insert a script into the door. And uh, all right, okay. So first, for the first part, I'm gonna script just the detection of clicking the key. So we're gonna do local prox equals script dot parent dot proximity prompt. Set it to this local door equals script dot parent. Basically, uh, some other variables we're gonna need are local is open, so that's false, local in use, so that's false as well, to begin with. Okay, we need to, det we need to uh, detect when the player presses the key. So we can do prox dot triggered connect function. Okay, basically Uh, I just test this here. Walk up to the door, I click E. As you can see, it prints click D in the output. So, instead of just printing that, what we want to check is um, so if the door, so if not in use, or basically if in use is equal to false, then because we don't want to try and open the door when it's already being opened. So it's kind of like a cooldown to, you know, open and close the door because we don't don't want uh, players to be able to spam it. And then if is open is equal to uh, start with true, then. So if it's open, I'm going to print close because we want to close the door. I'm going to set is open to false. El else, so if it's not open, I'm going to print open it. I'm going to print open. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. We'll print open and we'll set is open to true. So now, if the door is open, it will print close and then it will make the door also going to make the door actually close, but it's going to allow for us to detect if it's closed or not. So I go up to this, press E, see prints open, next time I press it, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Although it won't actually work yet, because we need to add, um, we need to basically tween the door, the door, oh fuck, we need to tween the door so that it actually opens and there's like a animation for it opening. So that's the first part done. Right, so for this next part, since we need to tween, tween the door, we're going to need to get tween service. So, local tween service equals game service tween service. Right. So we're basically, we need some variables for each, um, each C frame the door of the door. So when it's open one way and open the other way and open by itself what it is currently. So okay. Local open one equals 
There's an empty table array. Uh, open one dot C frame. Goes the doors C frame. Turn C frame dot new. Door dot size dot x divided by two. Take away the door dot size dot z z number two. And then also the uh, Yeah, okay, and then zero on the Y and door dot size dot X divided by two. That's not it, that's just these, like, you know, position. Uh, we need the angle as well. So, time C frame dot angles zero, then math dot pi divided by two, zero. I think that's correct. Uh, dot size dot x divided by two. Take away. Dot size dot z. Yep, should be okay. And so that's one one direction. It's one direction. The doors open. So you can just basically copy that whole thing, and then open two is equal to pretty much the exact same except there's a negative here because we're trying to get the opposite of it there's a negative on the math.py as well and open 3 is just equals door open 3 dot c frame equals doors should be equal to the doors current c frame just how it is now okay so uh Another thing, you're going to need the tween info. Tween info equals tween info dot new. And there's a, basically a bunch of stuff you can put here, but um, I'm just going to put in the time. It's just the amount of time it's going to take the door to open. So I'll just make it take half a second. It should be fine. Okay, and then open tween one equals tween service. Service creates door tween info and open one. Just copy this. Open tween two. Close tween. Uh, yep, tween info. Oh, sorry, this is meant to be like this. Okay, and then uh, open two and close. So it's just the door. Not like this. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be open three. It should be closed. Because that's when the door is closed. Okay. So yeah, between the door, it takes 0.5 of a second. And we'll just get setting the tweens here. So. If it's not in use. And if it's open. We just want to play the closed tween. So closed tween play. If it's yeah, we don't need the prints anymore. If it's um, if it's not open, okay. This is the complicated part. So basically, we need to use some maths to find out which way the player is looking, and depending on that, that's the way we open the door. So uh, I won't write I won't write this out. I'll just copy it in here so oh yeah, we need the player as well that's another thing so we can get the player that's pressed E by just putting the player here it's called a parameter um, so we're getting the distance the way it's the way the player is looking and then the angle which the player is looking at the player is looking from and then you just need to check the angle. So if the angle is greater than 90, then uh, open tween 1. Let's try this one. Play. Also, is open. Is equal to true. Um, else, so if it's not, then open tween 2. Play. 
is open is also equal to true. Uh, is there anything else we need? I don't think so. So that's opening, I guess you could have it open that way, but it's kind of opening the wrong way. So what I need to do here is switch around these. Well, I guess I could switch the greater than or greater than sign as well. Whichever, just switch around them, then it should, yeah, open the right way around. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you don't necessarily need to understand the maths here. It's like somewhat complicated. You just get the angle and compare it. And depending on that, that's the way you open it. Uh so yeah, so let me know if I should do any more tutorials. I might make this a series. Uh it's the first one I've ever done. So um comment below what I should do a tutorial on. And yeah, maybe I'll make a video about it.